is one Juliana. She will present uh, a presentation entitled Reliability and Validity of Questionnaire on Assessing the Aesthetic Perception of Design Motive Applied on Nepan Clothes Using the Art Reception Survey, ARS. It sounds very high tech to me. Okay, uh, let us welcome Miss Wan Juliana to present her. Thank you, moderator, Dr. Farida. All right, assalamualaikum and good morning to everyone here. So, I'm uh, Miss Wan Juliana Imin Binti Wahid. I'm a PhD candidate from IPRED Unimas. And together with me today is my supervisor, Dr. Saifu. And uh, another team member is Dr. Nuhayati from Tele Unit. So, before I start with my presentation, I would like to ask a question. How many of you are Ivans? Can I see your hands? Me. Alright, very good. Such a numbers. Anyway, so for the topic today, they have uh, some, uh, it's touch a bit about the Ivan culture, not so much. It's about the Nepal clocks. So, this is the contents of my slide presentation. I'll begin with the introduction and end my slide with the conclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, historically, the Iban or Sea Dayak community lived as a nomad in Borneo and they were known for their bravery and courage, which are reflected in their reputation as a fighters or headhunters. Even to them, is a Borneo wild man or headhunters to the tribes. Their characteristic as a nomad is actually a concept adapted from their activity during that time, which what we call here in the Iban words as berjalai or going on uh, some way, going on their journey. The Iban community is very fond with clothes and ornaments. Various attire are designed to fit both male and female. As you can see here, these young men are wearing the traditional costumes, which consists of chawat or sirai, and be colored with red or blue cotton. Meanwhile, for this young lady, she is wearing the traditional costume, which what we call here as a lopan cloth. Ladies and gentlemen, these ancient photos shows the young ladies who are wearing the full set of traditional costume. Come look closer on the part of the chest area or the breast area. The unit clothes apply on the top of it. This is what we call as salampai or sash. With the application of the design pattern, uh, this uh, design, the function is similar to the female undergarment, is to cover on the breast area. Well, this is the most decent photo that I can find for today. During the ancient days, most of the Iban ladies they are only wearing the clothes to cover on the lower part of the body. But when they are wearing no part, so they will wear with the salampai. This action resembles the uplifting of the woman's status and to show respect to them. These clothes are worn by the Iban ladies during a special occasion such as Gawai Day, ceremonies, ritual, and dances. It was assembled differently, which are based on their ethnics, the Iban ethnics, and their location. This attractive and meaningful design, the application of the design pattern applied on this Nepal, is actually weaved by uh, using the technique of woven weaving technique, which are made by the Iban ladies. In order, there are three techniques apply on the Nepal essentially inspired from the nature, flora, fauna, as well as the animism. Ladies and gentlemen, this fabulous Nepal is attracted uh, the public to buy, either as a souvenir or to keep them, without understand, without knowing the intrinsic meaning of every design applied on the top of it. Thus, it might lead to the misunderstanding and misuse of the clothes. This and positive attractions. So the next slide will be discussed in detail about these three factors for each items. 
All right, these are the three items, three factors uh, in the questionnaire. We have here negative emotions, expertise, and positive attraction. These three factors was the, the lowest factors received uh, while conducting the survey, which indicates that the respondents strongly disagree to have negative emotions toward the punk loss. Therefore, this factor can be considered to be unnecessary in measuring aesthetic experience towards the punk loss. Regarding the scales, the respondents were assumed to have no idea of expressing negative emotions or less likely to have experience of feeling negative towards the punk loss. So we come to the ends of the slide. Yeah, very simple, very easy. In, in a conclusion, it is suggested the art reception survey is reliable in measuring the aesthetic experience on the Nepal clothes with a consideration in removing the first factor, the factor of negative emotions, the first items in the positive attractions, and the first items of expertise. Therefore, the total items for the instrument, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, artists and designers, professors and doctors, before I leave the slide, before I leave the presentation, there is some quotes for you. A world of art doesn't exist outside the perceptions of the audience. I'm Juliana from Unimas. Thank you for listening and have a great day in Kuching. Thank you.